Etolus, a descendant of both Deucalion and Naiad nymph Iphianassa, was a highly respected member of Greek society for his leadership, bravery, and wisdom. He even founded the nation of Aetolia, named after him. One fascinating tale about Aetolus tells of how he fought his brothers for the throne of Corinth. He defeated them all and claimed the throne for himself. Another story recalls Aetolus acting as the Argonauts' guide during their famous expedition to retrieve the Golden Fleece. Aetolus led them through treacherous waters and helped them avoid dangerous challenges. Even after his lifetime, Aetolus' legacy lived on as a powerful legend in Greek mythology. Aetolus was a strong and ambitious man who lived during the time of the ancient Greeks. After a fierce contest among him and his brothers, Aetolus was declared the winner and became the king of Elis. However, tragedy struck when he accidentally ran over Apis, the son of either Jason or Solmonius, during a funeral game being held in honor of Azen. This led to him being expelled by the sons of Apis and his sister's son, Elias, taking his place as king. Feeling the need to leave Peloponnesus, Aetolus set off on a journey to the country of the Curides. Upon his arrival, he found that it was already inhabited by three powerful brothers, Dorus, Laodicus, and Polypides, who were the sons of Apollo and Thyia. Not one to back down from a challenge, Aetolus engaged them in a fierce battle. After a long and grueling fight, Aetolus emerged victorious and killed the three brothers. He then went on to name the place Aetolia, after himself, as a sign of his victory and dominance. Although this story is considered mythical, it serves as an explanation for how Aetolia became colonized. Aetolus had ventured out of his comfort zone, faced great danger, and emerged victorious. His story stands as proof that courage and determination can lead to great achievements. Aetolus, a legendary Greek figure, was the son of either Asterodia, Chromia, or Hippurope. He was married to Pranoe and had two sons, Pluron and Caledon. Aetolus was believed to have had several brothers, including Pian, Ippias, Eurycida, and Naxus. There were various accounts of Aetolus' origins. Some sources claimed he was the son of Protogenia and Zeus, while others said he was born to Amphictyon and succeeded his father as the king of Locris. The kingdom was later passed on to Aetolus' son, Ficius, and finally to Locris, who named the land after himself. Despite the varying accounts of his life, Aetolus remained a significant figure in ancient Greek mythology, and his legacy continued for generations. One interesting detail of Aetolus' life was that he had brothers with unique names like Pian, Ippias, Eurycida, and Naxus. It's fascinating how these intriguing names add more depth and complexity to Aetolus' family dynamics. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.